November 11th, 1910. Dearest Mary, a year has passed since I last gazed upon your beautiful face, smiling back at me from New York Harbor that day I left for the Congo. Since I stepped off the SS Zealand and onto these muddy banks of the Boma, not a single day goes by that I don't remember our departing kiss and my promise to wed you the day that I return. A day that may be closer now than I originally imagined. For as I write this letter, Professor Lang is on the rumored trail of a white rhino near Bengali. Our prize hunter and porter, Mashuda, has joined the professor in hopes of bringing one of the beasts to end. Hopefully, soon enough to include it on the convoy of specimens being shipped back to the museum in just two days. Centropus elegans. Perhaps you prefer something more sociable, like Polly. Still away. James, this could be it. You don't say. They say they spotted it near Ben Galley. I've got a good feeling about this one, James. So do I, Professor. Great job, by the way. I heard it's only half a day's journey from here. You want me to grab my rifle and help you bring them down? Oh, I'm sorry, James. I need you to stay here and finish preparations for the shipment. Well, by the way, have the convoy go out in the evening so they don't have to travel in the heat of the day. Of course, Professor. If you've got time, you can finish that letter off to Mary and send it off with the shipment. The... While the professor is off in search of an undoubtedly marvelous creature, another remarkable new species has discovered me. While analyzing the stomach contents of a Centropus eleganus, I discovered a peculiar worm originating from the gabber fruit trees that the bird forages on. When scratched, the worm secretes a toxin, the effects of which on a human being, I, I could only describe as being the same pleasure and euphoria that I feel whenever I am near you. It is intended to be flattering that I have named the species Mary's White Worm after you. I am confident that the worm will prove to be a bountiful harvest for the medical community as well, for I have been experiencing the sensation caused by the worm's secretion for two days without any ill effect. Porter! I need more worms. You'll find them in the gabber fruit trees over by the supply tents. Bring me all that you can find and hurry. Oh, wait, wait. Send the convoy out tonight and make sure this package goes with it. Now hurry! James? Professor. My dear Lord. He's dead. Something's inside of him. Those are McKeeley worms, Professor. They are very bad to touch. They get under the skin. My God. Then they lay their eggs. Well, I tell Mary. Stop the letter! Stop the letter! You should be the first to reap the benefits of the harvest, since I have named them after you, my love. Until we are united once again, James.